Okay, so wrapping up chapter one, we're going to explain the changes in the new population. And we're going to look at the chapter one question about what causes new population to become more poisonous. And just as a reminder of the claims, claim one said individuals new became more poisonous because they wanted to. And claim two said the new population became more poisonous because of something in the environment. Now, let's use what we learned over this chapter to see if we can either eliminate or revise some of the claims that we have. So, let's start by considering claim one. Claim one said, individual newts became more poisonous because they wanted to. Well, let's think this one through. I think being poisonous is pretty cool, and I've been wanting for the last couple of weeks to turn myself into a newt so I can have high poison traits but no matter how much I seem to want to, I'm not becoming a newt. So this claim doesn't seem to make any sense. The newts couldn't have just wanted to become more poisonous. It had to have been something else. So let's think some more on claim two. Claim two said the newt population became more poisonous because of something in the environment. So let's think back about a few key facts we saw. We saw for certain that, yeah, the newts definitely became more poisonous over time, and there's more high poison newts today than 50 generations ago. And what we also know is our environment changed. There were no snakes in the environment 50 generations ago, but there are snakes in the population's environment today. Let's use what, I know, what we know to revise our claims. So, we can take this information and revise our claim to say the new population became more poisonous because the snakes in the environment caused poison to become an adaptive trait. So, what you need to do, use a histogram right over there to explain why the new population became more poisonous because snakes in the environment caused poison to be an adaptive trait. And big hint, your histogram has a bunch of great evidence. So go ahead, write, discuss, and pause. Scientists, so that's a wrap for chapter one. Next time in natural selection, we're gonna answer how do individuals in a population get their traits? So from me and oof, the kitty, we're gonna sign out now from the Fortress of Science. Take it easy and see you soon.